Hi everybody, this is Tony, and today I have a quick tutorial. It's really easy. You're only gonna need a couple different things to be able to create these, and you're gonna need some kind of an envelope punch board. I have the We Are Memory Keepers. There's also a Martha Stewart one out there. There's a couple out on the market, but you are gonna need a punch board for this. And of course your paper trimmer, paper, bone folder, you know, typical things like that, okay? But I recently created a couple Easter cards and they're very dimensional and most of my, my art is. I like very chunky, dimensional uh, layouts, mini albums, everything. But a lot of times people will ask me, well, how do you, you know, um, give your dimensional cards to your recipient when they don't fit into a regular envelope? And um, there's a, lo a lot of videos out on YouTube that will show you how to do this, but I did have a couple of my subscribers ask me if I could provide a tutorial that is quick and that will accommodate making any size um, dimensional or boxed envelope. So that's what this tutorial is going to be all about. And so we're going to, let's do the uh, envelope for this um, card first of all. Now, as far as your paper goes, you should have paper, use paper that is strong, somewhat strong, okay? I wouldn't use real inexpensive cardstock or anything because it won't hold the form of your box properly, okay? I actually didn't have any cardstock, uh, colored cardstock that I thought would look pretty as an envelope cover for this <clears throat> for this card. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use white and then I will just decorate the, the, um, the outside with maybe some scraps of paper that I might have from this. I might have some leftover scraps and um, I'll do that to the front of the envelope just so that the envelope looks like it goes with the card. But for this one, we're just gonna use white, okay? And this card happens to measure laying down, it's a six by six. So what you'll need to do is you need to figure out how big is your card. This is six by six, and then also the dimension on it. This looks probably like a half an inch, maybe even a, even a quarter of an inch. Yeah, no, it's about a half an inch, but I'm gonna give it a little bit more um, wiggle room. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna give it an extra inch, okay? Then you take your punch board to find out, well, what size paper do I need to cut? This is a six by six. So it says you need to have paper nine and three quarters. Okay, we're gonna add an extra inch, of course. So we want to cut our paper 10 and three quarters by 10 and three quarters. So let's go ahead and do that. I think this cardstock um, actually, I wanna say I got it at Michael's and I think it's 110 weight. It's pretty, it's pretty thick cardstock. You don't need that thick. You can use like regular, um, you know, nice uh, scrapbook paper. Like, let's see, I have a paper here. This is Prima. Um, you know, as long as it's not the thinner scrapbook paper, you don't want to use that because it will not hold the shape properly. Okay, so we've cut it 10 and 3 quarters by 10 and 3 quarters. Okay. And let's get our scraps out of the way. The next thing it says is it says for a six by six card, you want to punch your first punch at four and seven eighths and score it at that point, okay? So here's our score line that we're gonna be using, okay? And if you can see, it's got an A side and a B side. I think that's what they're, yeah, they have them lined up as A and B also. So A and B. So we're going to be scoring on our B side, okay? So whenever I say B side, that's our scoring part, okay? So we're gonna take our paper and it says four and seven eighths. So we're gonna find four and seven eighths. We're gonna punch 
and we're going to score. Okay. Then we need to uh, um, provide the extra inch for the box. So we're going to move it to five and seven eighths. Punch. Score. Okay. And we're going to, here's the score marks here. We're going to turn it. And we're gonna use the first score line and we're gonna line it up with our A score line right here, okay? All right? Line it up. Punch. And score. Then go to your second score line Line it up with your A side. Punch. Score. Okay. Turn. Do the same thing. Line your first score line up with your A side. Punch. Okay. And then line up your second one. Punch. And for the last one, do the same thing. Line up your first score line with your A side. Punch. And score. And line up your second one, punch, and score. Ooh. Okay. Now, this tool also has this little thing right here that you can stick the edge, your corners in, and it will round out your corner if you'd like. So I'm going to do that just to give my envelope a nice finish. Now, if you've used one of these and you understand how to use it, the only difference that you're doing to make these boxes is adding that inch, adding that extra inch over and the score line because then that gives you the sides of your box, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and let's burnish all of these really nicely. The next thing you want to do is figure out which side do you want to have as the top. Well, it, it doesn't really matter to me. This is fine. I'll use this one as the top. So I want to get rid of these two little squares on the side, okay, just so that it has a nice finish. So we're going to cut those down. Okay. Down. Okay. And then down here, this is going to be your bottom one. We just want to make these little tabs. So we're just going to cut. It doesn't matter if you cut here or if you cut here. Just one cut though, okay? There we go. And then switch it over. Cut there, okay? So those are just going to be little tabs that are going to come up. Okay, so you see how our box is taking form now. All right, so now you can either use wet glue for this or you can use tape. Today I'm just gonna keep it easy and I'm gonna use tape. The next step, you don't have to do, but I just kind of find it a little bit easier to keep my box shape nicely. So what I, I did is, I actually saw this on, um, 
Oh goodness, whose web, whose YouTube channel? I can't remember who it was. Um, maybe it was Jennifer McGuire. Um, she used a stamp block, okay? And just put it right in the corner, okay? So that it kind of gives a place for your, your box to come up. Okay, does that make, I mean, you know what I mean? It holds it firm in place, okay? So then let's go ahead and take our tape off. There we go. Line it up. Nice. Okay. And then move our block over here to the corner. Pull your tab in. Let's take your tape off. Sure. You've got your corners even there. There we go. There we are. And you've got your box to hold your card, okay? Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to put your card inside just to make sure that everything fits nicely and you see it does. There is a little bit of wiggle room, which I'm absolutely fine with. I'd rather it be like that than too tight, okay? And then you can take some of your scrap paper if you want, means this is an all white envelope. Um, I actually didn't have much in regards to scraps left from my card kind of gathered them up. But if you've got extra, you can actually cover the inside of your envelope here or whatever. But I'm gonna use some of these scraps to decorate the outside. And the outside can be decorated all kinds of ways. You can use Velcro to attach it here. Um, I'm gonna use some um, seam binding. And um, I'm gonna cut myself some seam binding. Let's wait to cut it so I don't waste too much of it. And then these were left over from the project from from the card itself so I just um, I'm gonna use this and I think I'm gonna put this like this and tie seam seam binding around it and close up the envelope like that let's see if that will work okay so let me get, just get my crop dial here so let's see here go back a little bit further yeah, let's do that one right there. Okay, we'll do one here. And then we'll do one here. Yeah, okay. Close enough. You're not going to be able to tell. Okay, so let's do our ribbon. And you can, what would be really, really pretty, but I'm a little bit hesitant on doing it means it's a white envelope, is you could dye your, um, you know, stain your um, seam binding here. Uh, same color as the flowers or the roses. That would be really, really pretty. Um, but I'm a little bit hesitant that that stain will get all over uh, my card. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it white. And then I'm just going to string this up like this. Let's see, let me get my ribbon scissors. Okay, and just like this. And trim this. Okay, so you've got a box that fits your pretty card. You can hand it 
to the person like this and um, away you go. Like I said, I've never mailed these cards off, um, but you can see how you almost could make a box if you used it from poster board. It would probably be stronger. And then if you wrapped maybe your card inside with a little bit of a bubble wrap or something <clears throat> or tissue or something just so that it doesn't move around, it probably would do fine going through the mail as a box, you know, but for the most part, I do these for um, just to give it as a gift, you know, to my recipient and stuff. So I hope you learned something, <clears throat> something new. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make another box for this one. And um, until we meet again, have a beautiful day. God bless. Bye-bye.